Isotope shocked the world by suddenly releasing the new mastering grade ozone equalizer for free. In a world awash with EQ plugins, is there a reason to grab this one? I say yes and watch to find out why. But first, please like and subscribe, it really helps the channel. And use my affiliate link below at Plugin Boutique to grab their crazy deals. Please watch until the end to hear my conclusions and let me know what your favorite free EQ is in the comments below. There are tons of free VST equalizers out there. Doing a quick search on KVR while filtering for free gives you a mind-bending amount of results. But what I find lacking is a well-designed, fully parametric EQ with switchable filter types with a clean, clear interface, optimized for computer editing. Now, I hear what you're saying. FabFilter Pro Q cost 169 US dollars, and what do I expect for free? But it strikes me as odd that we're 25 years into mass market audio plugins, and with so many high quality plugins available for zero money, you'd think someone would have released a decent free EQ option with easily adjustable nodes on a classic spectral display. But I've never really seen anything acceptable, especially if you want it to be cross-platform. I realize Windows users have a few more options. Feel free to tell me your favorite free EQ in the comments below. Sure, there are lots of great analog modeled free EQ plugins designed to emulate old hardware. And that's fine if that's what you like to use. But if you've seen my video on channel strips, you'll know I prefer embracing the tools that take advantage of using a computer interface instead of aping old gear designed for human contact. It's just more clicks and fiddling and wrist impact as far as I'm concerned. And I hear you say, why not just use your DAW's default track EQ? And you certainly have a point. For me, while I love having EQ built right into each channel, I find that track EQ interfaces are usually too small and cramped, leading to heavy-handed EQ work. Plus, I like to have the EQ in my insert chain where I can move it around freely if I change my mind. That's why I use Pro-Q as my default equalizer plugin. It's fast, efficient, easy to use, and I have tons of bands and options. And it sounds great. But now there's a fully professional free competitor, Ozone 11 Equalizer. Obtaining Ozone 11 Equalizer is quick and easy. You can grab Ozone EQ from the Isotope or Native Instruments site, and you just need to request the software and it'll show up in the Native Access installer. I'll post the link below. What I love about Ozone Equalizer is that it has a familiar interface. You're greeted with a spectrum analyzer, and all you have to do to get started is click anywhere on the interface and you get a grab-and-go EQ node. Clicking anywhere in the mid-range will give you a bell filter by default. And much like Pro-Q or Infinity-Q, Clicking near the ends defaults to high and low shelves. And you can reset the filter here. If you want another filter type, it's easy. The active node has a heads up display where you can select from up to four different types of shapes per each band, plus manually enter frequency and Q slope. And I love the color coding for each band. It's a really beautiful interface. And if you prefer to see all your band's information at once, you can click the display switch button up here and you'll see all your bands simultaneously. This is great for keeping oversight of all your work. Plus I find the mouse wheel reacts better when adjusting values in this view. Like I mentioned earlier, you can select several different EQ shapes for each band. What I love about Ozone's choices here is that they include some of the most popular filter shapes that have been immortalized by certain analog hardware units, such as Proportional Q, where the boost or cut gets steeper the higher the gain. I'll widen that a bit. Or the Vintage Shelf Filter, modeled after the Pultec, 
where you get a complementary frequency dip, or a resonant filter, which is like the push-pull EQ trick. And you can freely change between any kind of filter at any time, with full undo and redo. Another killer feature you won't find on your average track EQ is the option to change from your standard minimum phase EQ, named analog here, to linear phase, or digital, useful for maintaining the phase of your source material. Note, in analog mode, ozone EQ operates with zero latency, but if you engage digital linear phase mode, you will increase the latency slightly. That's fine, as linear phase is only really appropriate for mastering and surgical post-production purposes anyway. Any professional EQ worth its weight will offer different stereo processing modes. An ozone EQ is up for the task, and even with a twist. The default stereo processing is where we'll all spend most of our time. This is standard equalization, working in the stereo field, and the same EQ applies to all channels. But you can also switch to mid-side mode, where you can choose to EQ only the mono signal or the stereo side signal. Very useful in mastering for adjusting your mix. Or you can choose to apply the EQ to only the left or the right channels. Now here's the neat part. In the transient sustain mode, you can apply EQ only to the transients or sustain parts of the signal. This can be great for creative EQing or helping drum hits stick out of a mix by only boosting the snare or the hi-hats, for instance. And you can solo the transients or the sustain. A magic feature that I love to see in EQs is gain matching. Hit this button and Ozone EQ will adjust the output gain to match the same average loudness of the signal, allowing you to hear your EQ at the same volume. Sometimes it's shocking to hear what little difference your EQing makes when it's at the same gain, and that's a moment to say, you know what? This track doesn't need EQ at all. Ozone EQ is so feature-packed, it's hard to list them all. But a few other things to note are... You can solo any band, or sweep anywhere within the spectrum with Alt or Option click. There's Delta Mode, where you can hear only the difference between your EQ and the original signal. And I like this one, the Amount Slider, which lets you globally adjust the entire frequency range at once, useful for making fine or creative adjustments. I'm just gonna say it, it's nuts to not get this incredible free EQ. It's simple, if I hadn't shelled out for Pro Q years ago, this would be my track EQ going forward. It's free and stuffed with professional features. It can be used for tracking and mastering and it's a delight to use. This is a killer deal and is headed for my best of 2023 list, straight away. That's all for now. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and until next time, mix well.